Welcome! Let's go over NG4 and its uh, standard functionality. There's one thing that you might not have realized about it in the end of this lesson. Let's use it to display a collection of superheroes on the screen. For that let's use the star ng4 syntax. What this syntax does is that it marks the element on which it was applied and its contents as being a template. This template will be repeated multiple times. The let keyword is used to declare a local variable hero which is only visible inside the template. NG4 has a series of utility variables and the first one that you are going to see is the index variable. So we can assign the value of index to a local variable, otherwise we won't be able to use it, and we can output it to the template. This local variable is only visible here. There are a few more utility variables in ng4 useful for styling. For example, there is also even and odd that is typically used to style tables. To use them, you also need to assign them to local variables using the let keyword. This won't work if you try to use them directly. Similarly to even and odd, there is also first and last that work in an equivalent way. Let's learn about TrackBy. This is an optimization aimed at improving the user experience of the application when we are dealing with lists with a very large number of elements. If we don't use TrackBy, then each time that we pass a new list to the ng4 directive, the whole list will be re-rendered on the screen. And this is not ideal for the case of large lists due to performance reasons. With TrackBy, we can tell Angular how to uniquely identify each row. Like that, certain optimizations can be made. For example, if the ID is new, then Angular knows immediately that it needs to render this element. Here we are passing to TrackBy the expression hero.id to uniquely identify the element. Notice the use of the Elvis operator. This is necessary, otherwise you will get a type error. And now one interesting thing about ng4 and a couple of tricks about components. Let's make the heroes component configurable. We can pass it a list of hero tags. Let's add a new hero, Green Lantern, so that we have a difference towards the previous list. Now let's see how the hero configuration element is implemented. Notice the at directive annotation instead of at component. This is one of the uses of at directive to create configuration elements. Another use is to create attribute directives, as we are going to see in a later lesson in this course. Now, this is really cool about ng4. It will accept any implementation of iterable that you pass on to it. It doesn't have to be an array. In this case, let's use at content children to inject inside the heroes the list of hero configuration elements. We can pass this heroes variable directly to ng4 because query list implements iterable. 